Jeff. I'm reviewing the Climate Inertia X-Frame sleeping mattress. It's made as an ultralight sleeping mattress for ultralight backpackers. It's a very innovative design that came out maybe a year or two ago. And I saw that and I thought this has got to be better than what I've got at home. And the innovation is the omission of some of the air tubes in a technique that they call body mapping. So, and the idea is you don't, is that people don't, won't need this area to support their bodies and it will therefore allow the sleeping bag to loft up if you have the mattress inside your sleeping bag or locked down if you have the mattress below your sleeping bag. It, uh, in theory it works, however I'm not going to have a chance to, to try it out. Um, before I go on I'll tell you that this comes with a stuff sack. It all fits inside this little box. It comes with a repair kit and a little pump so that you can pump more air into it. And the pump also comes with a little release so that you can let air out. The sleeping pad itself measures 72 inches by approximately 16 inches. I slept for two nights on the pad in my living room. I cannot attest to its insulative value, but I will tell you that under many different levels of inflation, I had trouble uh, staying asleep and comfortable for two nights, whether I was side sleeping, back sleeping, or belly sleeping. And I had trouble because the missing tubes were no longer providing the support that my body needed. The remaining tubes were creating pressure points, whether they were long pressure points or or short pressure points when my when a, a limb would cross this when a limb would cross the tube and I just couldn't stay asleep because I had to pay attention um, to keeping my my body parts in line with the tubes to stay comfortable, and uh, that's the 411 on the climate inertia X frame. Thank you for watching.